Today we're going to do some revision and we're going to start off by looking at verbs that we have done over the last few weeks. So we looked at auxiliary verbs and we also looked at regular and irregular verbs. Okay, let's have a look at auxiliary verbs. Now, what do these verbs do? They help the main verb. So, how do we identify auxiliary verbs? In other words, how do we see which one is the auxiliary verb in the sentence? So let's look at the first example that we have here. We have Alex was bouncing the ball. So what you do is you start off by looking for the main verb. So the main verb is bouncing. Then what we do, we see which word is helping the main verb. So we're not saying Alex bouncing the ball. We are saying Alex was bouncing the ball. So the little word that's helping bouncing is was. So that means the auxiliary verb in the sentence is was. So that we have Alex was bouncing the ball. Let's look at sentence number two. The children were baking a cake. Okay, if we leave out were, if we just have the sentence that reads the children baking a cake, it doesn't really sound correct. So we need the little auxiliary verb which helps the main verb, were. So we have the children were baking a cake. So now we have were, auxiliary verb, baking, main verb, and now it makes sense. Let's look at the third sentence. The grade fours will be excited to come back to school. Okay, let's identify the main verb. Yes, that's right, excited. So which little words are helping the main word, verb so that it makes sense? So let's look, the grade fours will be excited to come back to school. So we have the helping verbs, auxiliary verbs of will be. The grade fours will be excited to come back to school. Let's look at sentence number four. Everyone is enjoying the Zoom meeting. What is our main verb here? Enjoying. Which little word is helping the main verb? Is enjoying. As we can hear, if we say everyone enjoying the Zoom meeting, we can hear that doesn't sound too correct. So we have to help have a helping verb is, so we have everyone is enjoying the Zoom meeting. That sounds far, far. Next, we're gonna take a look at regular and irregular verbs. If you remember, you did this last week and now we are going to just do some revision. So let's first look at regular verbs. When verbs are written in the past tense, most of the time, we just add a D or an ED. And the words that you just add these two letters or these group of letters, these are called regular verbs because the actual main verb doesn't change too much. We're only adding on D or we're adding on an ED. Um, so let's look at some examples of these. Walked. You can see here we're only adding on an ED. So present tense would be walk and past tense walked. Here we have baked, and as you can see, the E is already in this word, so we are only adding on a D to form the past tense verb, baked. Jumped. Main verb is jump, present tense verb is jump, and to change it into the past tense, we are adding an ED. That's also a regular verb. Laughed. Our present tense verb is laugh, and we want to change it to past tense, and we add an ed, laughed. So it is a regular verb. And the same with smiled. Here we just add on a d, as it already contains an e. And let's look at our last example, chased. Also contains an e, so we just add on a d. So all these verbs are regular verbs, because we only had to add on a d or an ed to change it to the past tense. Now we get to irregular verbs. And as you can hear by the word, they're not regular, so they are irregular because they are quite different to the regular verbs. 
So these verbs do not follow a pattern when they are written in the past tense. These ones end in many different ways, so you actually just have to learn them as there is no exact pattern to follow to change it into the past tense. So these verbs are called irregular verbs. And now we're going to look at some examples of irregular verbs. The verb catch becomes not catched but caught. And as you can see, the word caught looks quite different to the word catch. So it changes entirely. The verb bring. No, we don't say we bringed it to the party. It changes to brought. And as you can see, it's also very different to bring. So it's also an irregular verb. Right, the next one says the verb fly becomes, do we say we flied to Cape Town? No, we say flew to Cape Town. So fly becomes flew in the past tense, which is also quite a different word to fly. And then our last example that we're going to look at is the verb eat becomes ate. It would sound very odd if we said, I eated my chocolate. So eat becomes ate. So it is also an irregular verb because it doesn't follow a regular pattern. So it's an irregular verb. 